Hello, welcome to Horror Monster Collectibles, where today we're going to be taking a look at this Trick or Treat Studios creature from the Black Lagoon mini bust of the famous Gilman. Uh, this was sculpted by Alex Ray, who did most, if not all, of their mini busts. It is about uh, five and a quarter inches tall and made of resin. Uh, it, the bust has a nice base uh, to display outside the packaging, but uh, for you in the box collectors, uh, it comes with a really nice window box artwork. In packaging that looks cool if you just want to display it like that. So let's go ahead and spin this around and take a closer look. All right, guys, so here is Gilman out of the packaging. And uh, overall, the sculpt work on him is very nice. Uh, he's been doing a great job on this line. Um, the factory paint, I do like the shading and the tone here, uh, but unfortunately mine has a googly eye, which um, also my Billy from Saul did as well. So it's a little lacking in the factory paint app department. But uh, I do like the tones and the shading used on the body in the sculpt work. Coming down to the base, it is the same base that they use for all of the this line, uh, which makes it all uniform when you're trying to collect them all. Here is the bottom of the base. And overall, I really like this piece. And how can you not love the Gilman anyway, right? It wouldn't be too much trouble to touch up the eye or just redo the eyes in general, but uh, it would be nice if that wasn't a thing to have to do. I feel like these are much like NECA figures where you're better off finding them as a selection in a store and you can kind of pick out the ones that have the best paint app on them. All right guys, so that's about all there is to go over on Gilman here. Uh, overall, I really, really like him. Although the factory paint app is a little lacking, uh, I do have some googly eyes, which I have seen in some of my other figures. And uh, I really didn't like the way uh, Leatherface was done up and my Billy prop puppet was kind of messed up as well. Um, although this one isn't as bad as those two, uh, it still would be nice if they could nail that kind of stuff down. Although, again, this is like a $25 price point statue, so it is very uh, low cost and uh, it offers still very good bang for the buck because it really wouldn't take much to touch it up if you were really bothered by it. And overall, I really like this line. Uh, they're very uniform, the way that they're all des designed. Um, again, like I have a leather face and obviously Creature here, and then Phantom of the Opera, Invisible Man, uh, Frankenstein's Monster, Wolfman, Billy Prop, and then Sam. Um, but they have like a lot of figures in this line. Uh, they do tend to sell out, but I feel like because this isn't a limited edition, they would probably be making more. Uh, Trick or Treat Studios is kind of known for doing that. Uh, as always, feel free to leave any questions or comments and I'll be happy to answer them. Uh, I will leave you with a 360 video of the statue right here and then I will leave you with some studio shots. And as always, feel free to like and subscribe and click the bell for notifications for new videos. And until next time, I will see you guys later.